Hello everyone. Korean movie recapped here. Today's video will be about an action thriller comedy movie titled Zombie for Sale, which was released in 2019. Warning. Spoilers ahead. Well then, without further ado, let's get started. The movie starts with narration of the series of events regarding a diabetic therapy called Noinswil by a company called Human Inviro, which is causing mysterious side effects and using unregistered human clinical trials. In the rainy night, a man covered in plastic bag comes out of a hatch on the ground. Elsewhere, nails are set up on a road as a trap, a car passes the trap and blows its tires, causing it to crash on a bridge. A man with a towing truck immediately comes to help them, but from his expression, he is probably the one who set up the trap. In the morning, the man finished repairing the car and is charging the owners an unreasonable amount for it. They protested, but pays the amount in cash and leaves when they feel threatened by the repairman's little sister. The repairman, June, sees his wife, Nam, storing the money they got. In another part of the village, the man who came out of the hatch is walking down the street. Apparently, he is a zombie, but the villagers don't notice it. Even kids are taunting and mocking him, saying he's a hobo. He then meets a black dog and gives it a challenging growl, but runs away from it when it chases him instead. In a house in the village, a few old men are playing cards when one of them, Doke, hears the black dog barking outside and angrily chases it off. He then checks the bathroom stalls, when he finds the zombie in one of them. Doke thinks he is a disrespectful pervert and hits him with a plunger, before the zombie attacks him and bites him on the head. The zombie runs out, followed by Doke whose head is now bloody. June's sister, He, is burying her dead pet in the woods. When she walks back, she meets the zombie who is running away from the black dog. Mean runs down the street, followed by the zombie and then the dog. A man bringing a suitcase is walking up the same street, he sees her running past, then seeing the zombie, he also runs away and catches up with her. Apparently, he is her other brother Mean. Suddenly, her trips and falls, almost getting caught by the zombie before a tow truck driven by June hits the zombie and sends him flying downhill. The siblings check to see that he is alive, not realizing that he is already undead, before the zombie runs away from the dog again. The siblings are now in their house, where June worries about the zombie finding him for compensation. Nam, who is pregnant, asks what happened. Mean and He say that a hobo was chasing her and trying to take advantage of her. They hear a siren outside, June comes out to see Dok, who is their father, being brought home by an ambulance. The medic thinks that he's been bitten by a dog and gave him a rabbi shot, but Dok says it's a man, not a dog. That night, Dok is feeling hot and sweating a lot even though it's not summer. He talks to a picture of his late wife about her dream of going to Hawaii together. He is sitting outside when she hears sounds coming from the shed. She goes to investigate with Dok, seeing that the zombie is there eating her pet rabbit. Dok hits the zombie with a shovel, while He runs in the house to wake her siblings. June arrives first and kicks the zombie, revealing to the horrified family that the zombie is impaled by a metal bar. They think the zombie is dead, but he starts moving, causing them to get scared. Mean says that it's a zombie, and shows the others a clip of a movie where a person turns into a zombie after being bitten. One by one they move away from Dok who was bitten, Nam hits him with a pan and they lock him in his trailer. Overnight, Mean does research about the zombie virus from various movies and articles. He creates a zombie survival guide book and explains to the others how the virus works and how zombies act. He suggests they kill Dok, but June disagrees. Meanwhile, Dok wakes up acting like a zombie and manages to escape his trailer and go inside the house. He sits on the dining table, then wakes up from the trance but Mean has already hit him with a glass. He comes inside the shed to give the zombie some cabbage. He can't talk, so He names him Darsorm, treating him like a pet. Nam joins her, He thinks Darsorm might be a vegetarian zombie. Somewhere else, the elderly men are watching Dok pee, saying that he pees like a young man and even starting to look younger too. Dok is very happy, he figures that it's because of Darsorm's bite. An elderly friend of Dok begs him to share his secret to become young again, even offering to pay as much as a ticket to Hawaii. He agrees, and lets Darsom bite the man, and saying to him to tell no one. But in fact, the man told their friends and they all want to pay to get bitten. When Dok brings them to the shed, he sees that Darsom is missing. 
Apparently, Darsom is being taken by Mean to sell to a medical researcher in Seoul. He gets pulled over by the police, and they find Darsom tied up and stored at the back of the truck. They bring them to the police station, thinking that Mean has kidnapped and tortured Darsom. Mean tells them that Darsom is not human, but they don't believe him. Suddenly, the rest of the family comes into the station, Dok says that Darsom is his estranged son, and brings him home. At home, Dok finally reveals his plan to use Darsom to make money by biting elderly people. Mean and June fights about who gets to have Darsom after Dok leaves for Hawaii, but Dok suggests to gather the money to reopen their gas station instead. When they go to the shed, they are shocked to see that Darsom's teeth are all gone. Meanwhile, the elderly men arrive to get bitten, so they come up with the solution for Darsom to use a fake teeth. One by one, the men are bitten, and we see that the next day they become much stronger and looks younger. Nam stores the money they made in a safe, but in the morning, all their money are gone with a note from Dok that he's leaving for Hawaii. Mean wants to kidnap Darsom to Seoul again, but is stopped by Nam who chases him with a broom. He brings Darsom to a cabbage field, he gets so excited to see all the cabbage that he loves. The two of them somehow gets closer, Darsom seeming to emote some expression of fondness. June comes to scold them, but He sees an angry mob coming towards their house. Apparently, the elders have told their sons about how they paid to become youthful again. The trio runs home, June shouting to his wife and brother to run inside. They shut the doors and curtains to hide, the mob telling them to come out. But then an elder comes forward, saying that he's brought the family more customers, the mob actually wants to get bitten too. The family's business of biting people is very successful, lots of people come just to get bitten. They even give Darsom their father's trailer as his home. He gives him a makeover so he looks somewhat alive again before taking him on a date. The family finally gathered enough money to rebuild their gas station. They are so happy, they even take a family picture with Darsom included, and hangs it up on the wall. One night during dinner, the family tease He for having a crush on Darsom. After dinner, He overhears Mean calling someone about selling Darsom. The next day, He brings Darsom to the woods, she tells him about her mother and family before preparing for him to run away to avoid being taken by Mean. She leaves him alone in the woods with some supplies, telling him to act like a human. Mean comes to the shed looking for Darsom, and when he can't find him, he runs out to search for Darsom, eventually finding him still standing in the woods. He takes Darsom to a bus station to go to Seoul, but the store clerk there is acting very weird and unresponsive. We see a wedding of a villager, when the bride and groom are told to kiss, the groom instead bites her neck violently. The other men are also eating raw meat vigorously, they are turning into zombies. The police station gets a lot of calls about violent outbreaks happening across the village. In the bus station, Mean witnesses a zombie biting a woman. More zombies approach, he runs away and leaves Darsom there. Massacre and zombie attacks are spreading throughout the village. In the shed, he sees a zombie come in and screams, which apparently Darsom hears. She runs outside to June and Nam who just got home, saying that the man is acting weird. When the zombie approaches Nam, she hits him hard with her bag. A police officer thinks they are hurting the zombie and tells the zombie to hide behind him, but then gets attacked by it. The trio panics as more zombies come their way, they take shelter inside their home, fighting the zombies out and barricading the doors and windows. They figured that Mean was right about the zombie virus, so they use his guidebook to craft protection gear against the zombies using pots, pillows and other things. Meanwhile, Mean is now hiding under a bus with full protective gear. He calls an emergency line for help, but they think it's a prank call and hangs up. Suddenly, his phone rings loudly, attracting the zombies. He throws the phone away and uses the chance to run until he finds a truck and drives away to save his family. Back home, He, June, and Nam tries to find more information about the zombies and looks for any news on TV. There is no news, as it hasn't spread far from their village yet. June is blaming Darsom and argues with her when the zombies manage to breach their house. They escape from the window to the roof of the shed, getting inside through a hatch. Then, June sees Mean arriving in the truck. He shoots the zombies with a pack of fireworks, but June reminds him that this is a gas station and it can explode the gas tanks. Mean panics and runs to the shed as more fireworks get ignited, firing to the sky. The light and sound attracts more zombies to come to their house. 
Inside the trailer in the shed, Nam's water broke and she's now in labor. Mean has the idea to attach the trailer to the truck so they can pull it from the outside and escape. June and Mean go out using Daesam's clothes to mask their human smell and act like a zombie. Their plan works, Mean gets in the car followed by June after attaching the chain connected to the trailer. Unfortunately, they forgot the key in the house. The zombies surround their truck, but He comes out with a lawnmower to distract them. She was going to be attacked by the horde, but they stop because Darsom comes to protect her. Suddenly, the electricity short-circuited, causing lights to go off and distract the zombies. He and Darsom runs to the shed while June sneaks into the house to get the truck key. Halfway there, the lights and sound shut off, and June's child is born, crying out loud. This attracts the horde towards the shed, but June has to get the key as it's the fastest way to escape. He has to fight a lot of zombies in the house, but he manages to get the key. From the window, he throws the key to Mean, and says his goodbye as he is attacked by a lot of zombies. Mean turns on the tow truck to start pulling the trailer. He and Darsom are outside the trailer to protect Nam and the baby. They see the trailer starts moving, so He gets inside the trailer and begs Darsom to come in, but he refuses, instead fighting off the zombie for them. The tow truck is surrounded by zombies so Mean reverses and knocks off a gas tank, showering them with oil. Right before he's about to go, June gets in the car, apparently he is alive due to the protection gear. Mean steps on the gas and they drive, bringing the trailer with them. We see He crying at Darsom who's left at the station. He sees her drive away and suddenly says her name, seeming to regain consciousness. Darsom gets attacked by the zombies, but he turns on a lighter and throws it to the oil, causing the gas station to explode. After driving for a while, the news on the radio indicates that the zombie outbreak has spread out and is caused by the Noinswill. Mean stops driving because they see that June has turned into a zombie too. Suddenly, their father shows up, having come home from Hawaii. They figure out that he's immune to the virus as he's still human until now. Mean has a plan to use his father's immunity to reverse the effects. Six months later, we see Mean lining up zombies for a zombie vaccine. June is human again, driving the van. He comes out of the van to secure the zombies, and Darsom who is now human comes out too. They stick the zombie's hand in the van where Dok is told to bite it by Nam. After his bite, the zombie turns back into human. And that's the end of the recap, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and wank the subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos from us. Also tell us what movie should we recap for you next in the comment section below. See you, next time.